Well, folks, last night was the State of the Union, and Joe Biden delivered. He blew the roof off the place. He was powerful. He was determined. He was just moral. Nailed it. And the Republicans, you keep setting the bar really low and saying he's old and he's feeble so he can show up and wow everybody. But I don't even want to talk about Joe Biden. I'm going to talk about Katie Britt. Good evening, America. My name is Katie Britt. Honestly, I went on a spree of tweets after this thing were 30 different tweets. I think I blamed her for sinking the Hindenburg and catching it on fire and <laughs> going with OJ to find the real killers. The intersection of the 5 and the 91 freeway. And why would I do that? Because she was insane. You see, Republicans believe, this would explain Byron Donalds and Stephen Miller and Rick Grinnell and so many others. If they just find somebody black or gay or Jewish, or young and female, like Katie Britt. Like, that's it, that's all they need to appeal to younger and more open-minded people and suburban women. It doesn't matter if she seems like she's the bride of Chucky. You know, Chucky, I still have the ring. What ring? The ring, the one you left for me. I found it on the mantle the night you were killed. I've never taken it off. <laughs> Doesn't matter if every word she spoke, she overacted in a way that would have made Nick Cage embarrassed. <laughs> like, we'll show you some clips from this thing, but it went like, pick anything. I wish I had you guys here to pick something for me. How about the light above me? The light, it is shining down bright upon us, but it's fading. And it's fading because of Joe Biden. America was great when the light was brighter, but it can't be bright while Joe Biden's president. And so on. This is what she sounded like. Our families are hurting. Our country can do better. When you're a party of lunatics, you attract other lunatics. And I would argue there's almost a magnetic force where they see each other. They're connected. More than you know. The fungus also grows underground. Long fibers like wires, some of them stretching over a mile. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place, and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. And this isn't, there are some regular people who still vote Republican. God help them, they need to not do that. And we're getting better and better about that. But it's a MAGA party now, and all of the electeds or MAGA nuts, because they have to win in primaries, and the lunatics find each other. There's cases everywhere, right? Uh, the congressman who Trump endorsed in 2020 just was arrested for, for he, he lost, congressional candidate, was just arrested for murder yesterday. This is not unusual, finding people that are criminals. When, when, when Lauren Boebert was at a, a debate, I think there are nine of them, in her new district she parachuted into, and they asked, had anybody been arrested? Like five or six of the nine raised their hands and they were proud. And since then, her son's been arrested. She's got a restraining order against her husband. This is who they are. This is the normal Republican these days. So Katie Britt with her, well, Joe Biden is just terrible on the border. We cannot go on this way, America. So it once was a dream called America. It's now a nightmare. And frankly, the only nightmare I can think of is if you were to wake up and see Katie Britt standing over you in your room, I would scream like f***ing hell. Because again, she comes off like she is an evil sort of cartoon character. She comes off like the, the, the girl from the ring. She comes off like, let's see, I took some notes. I mean, you know, you get the feeling watching her that she might tell Ava Braun that she was too nice and too relatable. She is the young and attractive, and they thought a woman, obviously, and they thought that'll make up for her, the fact that she is an anti-choice nut, gun nut, anti-climate conspiracy theorist, nut, nut in favor of Donald Trump, who supports a guy who's been found guilty of rape in a civil court. And when you're a star, they let you do it. Uh, well, decrying sexual assault and harassment and, and the, the hypocrisy. People are too dumb. They won't get it. The thing is, is that at least if they were better actors, right? Eric Swalwell has talked so often about people like Ted Cruz, who is just the complete piece of that he is constantly and then off camera will act like it's all just a joke because 
It doesn't mean anything to these people. And that's the greater meaning of all of this, if you want to know the truth, which is this was almost the, maybe the apotheosis, the perfect sort of culmination of the Republican becoming a party of all performance and zero substance. There are empty chairs tonight at kitchen tables just like this one because of President Biden's senseless border policies. You could argue when it started, it may have been the TV age in general, Ronald Reagan, and then they had Gopher, that was cool, Sonny Bono and Fred Thompson, and I mean, so many actors and others who are famous, they like, recruit athletes. You got Steve Garvey in California now. What's Steve Garvey done besides impregnate one out of every three women he stands within 10 feet of, roughly? He was a star first baseman for the Los Angeles Dodgers. That's it. Herschel Walker, Tommy Tuberville, a coach who wasn't even that good. He's a moron who can't walk up a flight of stairs. Again, like this is who they want. So Katie Britt, they thought would do a good job with her. The world is coming to an end. And if Vladimir Putin keeps pushing forward, he does because your party won't fund Ukraine, then the NATO will come to an end and Joe Biden has let this happen under his watch. And you know, she sat there and tried to undermine this amazing speech by Biden. Katie, get help. <laughs> the highest form of Republican. Absolute performance, absolute fake anger, uh, and yet a chilling, chilling appearance. Uh, a warning of your Handmaid's Tale future if you elect Republicans in November. And you are why I believe with every fiber of my being that despite the current state of our union, our best days are still ahead.